All right, guys, welcome to No Man's Sky. I am Survival Bob, and uh, we got some weird stuff going on right here. This is No Man's Sky version 4.0, and uh, apparently this is a cave, because that's a hazardous floor right there that's only found in caves. Interesting. Uh, but we got some sodium out of it. So, I am playing normal mode. Why normal mode, you ask? Well, because that's what the majority of people play. The game has been rebalanced, and I need to figure out what the new normal is before I start messing with stuff. So, first thing we're gonna do is find some sodium. I actually just got some out of those plants by accident. Um, we're gonna recharge our hazard protection, but what the game wants you to do is find a rock, which is what this is, to mine up some ferrite dust. So I'm gonna be teaching you how, how to play as we go. I've been playing No Man's Sky for several years, done lots of guides and tutorials on them. And whenever there's a major update, I try to kind of start over and see what is different and how I would play the game differently. I have heard lots of changes as far as values of things for money making and things like that. So we're gonna definitely have to get into how to make money, inventory, storage, things like that as well. So what's different? What is the same? So we're gonna go ahead and fix our scanner, which is ferrite dust. Now I do have the tutorial on because I did click normal mode and it does default to that. You can turn the tutorial off if you're starting a new save and you don't wanna do it. I already found sodium, but okay. We'll go get some more. You want to get your scanner, obviously, you get some sodium. This is an interesting planet. This cave is like, kind of come through. Let's go ahead and charge it. It will not go forward unless I charge it, even though I didn't really need to. I like that the charging now shows you how much of the resource you have and how much it needs. So if you don't have enough for 100%, it kind of, it, it gives you those numbers there. Uh, this is dihydrogen. We need to mine this up. We need to grab dihydrogen. We need to grab carbon, which is from plants. We need to grab ferrite dust, which is from rocks. And uh, oxygen, which is in uh, plants as well as um, these uh, resources like that blue glowy one that you pick up. Now that blue glowy one is not oxygen. That is, what is it, deuterium? What is that? I can't remember what it's called. Ah, deuterium rich plant, and this will give us a boost in our exosuit. So once I grab this, I can go super far and super fast as long as I don't hit a hill. Excuse me, fella. Now you gotta pay attention to that because it will run out and you will just drop. See the surge is fading. So you wanna pay attention to the bottom right hand corner so you see how much life support you have left. Now I'm grabbing materials as I go. Always wanna make sure you grab carbon because your mining beam uses carbon. And uh, if you use it to mine up everything except for carbon, then your mining beam will be out. But uh, if that happens, just punch a tree, just like that, Minecraft style, and uh, you'll get the carbon you need. It's not as efficient, but you won't get stuck. All right, we'll go ahead and grab a little bit more ferrite dust. Now you see um, these materials have uh, analyzed with a question mark next to them. What that means is it has a secondary element that we don't know yet. Once we get our visor installed and our multi-tool, we will be able to get that and then we'll be able to mine it as we go. Now the main thing you gotta worry about in a normal save when you're starting is hazard protection. So if you see a cave, jump in that cave and your hazard protection will recharge on its own. You won't have to use any resources to do it, which will buy you some time to go find sodium. Everything else you pretty much are gonna be able to find, especially if you head to your ship, you should be good. Oh, there's oxygen, I need some of that. You're definitely gonna to need to uh, gather some oxygen. Hit that scanner again, looking for more oxygen along the way. Now, I think we get a little bit less resources now when we mine as well. I haven't really been paying attention. I'll start trying to, uh, to notice that a little bit more. Now, dihydrogen is important because we use that to make dihydrogen jelly, which we gotta to use to fix our ship, but we also use it to make life support gel i think that's still a thing we'll find out here shortly i heard somebody say that it wasn't but uh i, I don't know all right come on spaceship so if you're wondering how i'm doing that boost where i fly forward what i'm doing is i'm hitting the melee button and then i hit the boost so i'm running and then i hit melee and boost and i can go super fast forward all right, grab this oxygen real quick. There's always four right by your ship that you wanna grab. Um, and then jump in your ship if your hazard protection is low. I got some time. So um, first thing I'm gonna do is turn the damn sound down. Jeez, uh, did they reset that? Let's go to general options. No, my music's at 20. 
How is that 20%? That's insane. Uh, something's wrong with that. Anyway, let's grab um, this beacon. Ooh, this is a new animation. This looks awesome. Scenario iteration detected. Boundary separation failure likely. Vessel 16 emptied cause sentinel intervention deliberate transfer. Analysis, fresh iteration generated, anomaly containment prepared. So let's go ahead and broadcast. Oh, dude, that is awesome looking. Broadcast received, traveler anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant, position logged, system integrity scan initialized. All right, so following the storyline and now it wants us to investigate our ship. We'll do that in a second. Let's investigate this trash over here first. This rusted metal I'm gonna pick up and throw in my exosuit. I'm gonna save that for later. We'll be able to refine that as well as the goop that you'll see in these things as well. Go ahead and grab all of these items. Now these green boxes, um, some people have a little trouble with these. If you just wait patiently, you'll eventually get something. You see it pops up there in the corner. If you don't see anything pop up, just try to go back into it. But um, if you just wait, take your hands off for a second, you'll get whatever's in that green box. All right, uh, I'm gonna see if this cave has cobalt in it because cobalt is important. All right, so, oh, this is cool. I don't have a visor. I was like trying to look through my visor. All right, we got carbon in the caves. This seems new. I, I saw this on an earlier save. I was messing around with Jason on live stream. And um, yeah, there was carbon in that cave too. And I don't remember there being carbon in caves. This should be cobalt. Grab a little bit of cobalt. You use cobalt to make ion batteries. So if you can find a cave, it's always gonna have cobalt in it. Go ahead and grab that. You used to use this to uh, make money and flip, but I've heard that uh, that's not good anymore. It's not, they've, they've really nerfed that a lot. So we'll find new ways to make money as we go. All right, not, not seeing a lot here. Now these are hazardous plants. They will give you oxygen or sodium. So we're gonna go ahead and scoop those up. They will not initiate until you look at them. See, once I look at them, see now he's going. But if I don't look directly at them, I can not have to worry about their gaseous odors or whatever they're doing. But I will take the uh, oxygen. Thank you very much. And the sodium. Bonus. What is that? Oh, more cobalt. Let's get that. Now, when you're using your mining beam, uh, you want to try to keep it as close to red as possible. See how it's green? And it kind of fills up. And then it starts to get a little bit yellow and then red. Once it gets red, you want to just tap it to keep it from overheating. You see the heat warning, but that's gonna give you the most resources. Now, I don't have anything to shoot, unfortunately. I was just kind of showing y'all how it works. Noink. All right, back to our ship. See, we recharged our hazard protection there, so that's a good thing. Investigate crash ship, you got it. Here we go. Jump in our ship and see what it says. Atlas connection intermittent. Launch thrusters offline. Pulse engines offline. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of a before. But the ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I'm not dead yet, and the ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Let's connect our exosuit. Exosuit connected suggestion pilot should perform maintenance. Let's do that. Self-guided repair protocols initiated. So this continues the tutorial to show you how to fix stuff. And we need a hermetic seal and metal plating to fix our pulse engines. That's what flies us around space. So we're not going super slow. All right, let's take a look at our inventory. This is the first time we've taken a look at this. This has changed drastically with 4.0. Uh, it used to be tabs, now it is all in one spot. So if you're watching older videos with tabs, that's why. Uh, so we have technology here, and then we have cargo, and cargo in general have been combined into just cargo now. Now you can sort items um, by raw materials, high value items, consumables, and installable tech. Now I, I don't have any of that stuff, except for raw materials really. Uh, so it, it, all it really does, unfortunately, is highlight them. It doesn't like sort them, sort them. So we, we will be able to get new slots in our exosuit. I'm told we'll be able to get 60 in technology and up to um, 120 maybe in cargo, or is that ships? Uh, we, we haven't seen that final update yet on those numbers, but uh, we do have more space. And then in the ship, it's the same with technology and cargo. Now, you can only put technology in the technology section. Uh, you cannot put them down here. You used to be able to put them in general, but we cannot do that anymore. Let's see, what do we got here? I want to go to my multi-tool, which has more space than it used to as well. This used to just have like five slots, I think. 
and now it's got a lot more space for the starter multi-tool, which is nice. We're gonna go ahead and install our analysis visor. In order to do that, we need a carbon nanotube. We happen to know the recipe for carbon nanotube at the start. Your recipes are right here. Uh, and so once we make that, just go ahead and click on here and install that. That'll allow us to scan items to get a little bit of walking around money as well as get access to the secondary material. And scanning animals is gonna help us to earn nanites as well, and we're gonna need those. Let's uh, jump out of our ship. I think they want us to make the um, metal plating. Go ahead and stick that in there. Done, now we need a hermetic seal. We don't have a hermetic seal. Okay, I just did that. Catch up. All right, so let's go ahead and scan that. All right, so now sodium. Oh, that's a great secondary element. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Look at all these guys, holy smokes. So the red animals are the ones we haven't scanned yet. The red dots. Let's go back to the distress beacon, see if it gives me the map. I look inside the distress beacon for additional supplies, more in a hope than reason. I should investigate the damaged starship that placed this beacon in the first place. All right, so that's new. So I come in here trying to get something and this tells me there's nothing there. Get back in your ship. So we'll get back in our ship. And it's still damaged. We need a hermetic seal. We don't have the recipe for that yet. So we're gonna request assistance. All right, so now we should be able to get a planetary chart out of that beacon that just told me to jump in my ship. I peer inside the beacon's housing as well as its distress broadcast unit. It contains a planetary chart. It wasn't there when I looked a minute ago, but now it is with that awesome new graphics. All right, so we're gonna go to our planetary chart, hover over it and plot our route. Is that a building right there? We'll have to check that out when we leave. Try to pay attention to the directions when it goes up like that. It's not close enough for my visor. All right, so uh, we're gonna head in this direction towards that marker. As we do that, hey buddy, um, a storm is gonna come. So you should be fine in normal mode. Just don't, you know, dilly dally too much. Stop wandering and looking at everything. You can do that later on. First thing we gotta do is focus on getting that and worrying about our hazard protection. Nighttime is great because it makes it really easy to see plants. So I'll grab some of these guys. Eh, eh. And I'd like to alternate between running and boosting. I run until I get tired. And by then my jetpack is usually recharged and I can boost. Okay, here comes a storm. We've got two arrows next to our hazard protection, which means it's pushing down on it even faster. All right, so we made it here to our marker. We're gonna go right in this building. Oh, what is that? Scan that real quick. Oh, we got floating crystals over here. Now, as you look through your visor, you can mark things just to remember where they are later. You can only mark one thing at a time though. All right, so we're gonna go in this hollow archive and grab the plans for Hermetic Seal as well as one that is already there. No one making this recording in case leaving behind in the fabricator might be of some use. Visor damaged, can't find ship. Bro, you should have watched my tutorial. The log finishes and the machine whirs to life, spitting out supplies. I have the hermetic seal I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. Maybe they did. These little yellow cubes are gonna give you um, encrypted uh, nav data or nanites. So you'll get one of the two usually from one of those. All right, uh, we're gonna, no, I don't wanna sit down. Okay, apparently I, I, I wanted to sit down. All right, get up. Come on, bro, we're doing stuff. We're doing stuff, let's go. A couple things of interest that I saw. We got floating crystals over here. And then I also saw an unidentified building over here. There it is. All right, so there's the unknown building. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. The floating crystals were right over here. I can see them. I uh, cannot mine those yet. Okay, but I can scan that dude. It was real quick, but at the bottom it said I'd scanned four out of nine, I believe it is, animals. So if you come in to your, um, discoveries tab, you can see how many are on this planet. So there are nine and I've got four of them. If I get all nine, I'll get a 2,250 nanite bonus if I scan all of them. So I definitely want to try to get those because that is going to be a great boost early on. All right, so let's go over here. Now we can leave that marked and just fly back with our ship if we want to, but we've got the ship marked. We got the building marked, feeling good. Nice cave. Let's grab a little bit more cobalt 
and maybe make an ion battery or two. These are humming sacks which open up and you grab albumin pearls. These pearls are worth 10 grand a piece. So we're gonna grab those to help us grab some money as well. That's so weird. I'm having a hard time grabbing things with this. Um, let me know if you guys are having that issue as well. Uh, I will just have to uh, move on without it. We got a geode, which we can turn into more cobalt. All right, I've got two Mara bulbs. I'm just gonna chunk those. I don't wanna use the inventory space. And let me sort this out a little bit. I mentioned some of the elements you're gonna need early on. Carbon is the first one, oxygen, sodium. We're gonna need ferrite dust. We're gonna need dihydrogen. Uh, those are the main elements you're gonna need. Condensed carbon is helpful, but you can make that from carbon once you get the refiner, which we can get next. Uh, we've got sodium nitrate, which is a condensed version of sodium. Uh, you can make in the refiner as well. Cobalt, we got some albumin pearls. I'm still getting used to this uh, system, guys. It's a little different. All right, so let's go ahead and make an ion battery. It only takes 10 cobalt, five ferrite dust. So we're gonna make a couple of those. I'm only gonna make maybe three of them because they're super cheap usually to buy unless that's changed. We can still make life support gel. It does take one dihydrogen jelly, which takes 40 dihydrogen to make, and 20 carbon. So these are kind of expensive, but we can make a jelly if you don't have one. I picked one up from one of those containers, and now I've got two of those. Done with the cave. Here is the unknown building. It looks like a miner's outpost tower. Um, that's not what it's called officially. I can't remember what it's called, but basically it's gonna send out a signal, a signal, signal beacon? I don't know. It's gonna give us another point of interest on the map, which will be useful when we go uh, take off in our ship in a few minutes. Grab more free stuff from these crates. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned about these uh, crates on the ground, these white boxes, these are health boxes. Um, if you have a low health, you can grab those. Uh, then these, require an atlas pass. That's a craftable item. So if you have the ability to craft it, you can craft it and uh, open those up. I generally ignore them because by the time I get the atlas pass, I don't really need the stuff that's inside them anymore. So it's kind of a uh, big meh for me. Here you are. Okay, so this is a hazardous flora. Let's see, what do we got? They always like hide. Oh, okay, this is a whippy plant. These guys suck. They just smack you and knock your shields down. So this was that unidentified building. And as we get over here, it should tell us. Uh, beacon, that's what it's called. Don't know why I can't remember that. But when we use this beacon, it will give us the location on our map of a miner's outpost, which we can buy stuff at, which is kind of nice, early game. Sometimes I'll build a, uh, my first base at a miner's settlement or a trade post or something like that. It's five hours away. We are definitely not walking, uh, but we will walk back to our ship now. I'm continuing to look through my scanner. Right, where is that red thing? There you are. Come here. All right, I got four of them. Another unknown building? I'm just gonna leave that one marked and maybe we'll fly by it when we take off. Cause we're gonna do that as soon as we get back. Now, I'm still looking for the other creatures to scan. If you don't find them in your playthrough, don't worry about it. It's not a huge deal. Oops. Don't forget life support, guys. There we go. Recharge that. And you see when uh, that, that hit me because I, I didn't recharge my life support, that little white bar on the top left reduced a little bit. And that is my basically my shields. See that whippy plant reduce it again. Once that goes all the way down, then you start losing the plus bars, which are your health. So the white container would recharge one of those plus bars. You can kill an animal, eat them, and uh, that will help recharge your life support as well. Don't worry, they don't really fight back most of the time. Whoa, oh shit. ow. Okay, so that smack was so hard that my jetpack was critically impacted. So I can't use that anymore. See, I'm pushing it, nothing happened. So I gotta fix it. This is a new thing. So now we just have to put 50 ferrite dust in it. So there's a little bit more punishment for being as reckless as I normally am. It used to be a normal mode. It was like, man, it'll be fine. All right, let's see if there's any more oxygen along the way. There is. The reason I need oxygen is because I know I'm gonna need at least 30 oxygen to make the portable refiner, which is gonna ask me to do as soon as we get back to our ship more survival information. These plants right over here that you see, 
like that. Uh, you can pick those and that will recharge your life support or hazard protection as well. If you're in a pinch, you can also sell them, make a few bucks, and you can actually uh, cook at some point in the game and uh, make items as well. The cooking is not as flushed down as I think it needs to be, but it is a way to make nanites um, if you've got the time and patience to do it. All right, so we're gonna jump in our ship with our brand new hermetic seal that we just got. And uh, I thought it was gonna do, make me do something, but we just fix it. There we go. All right, and then now we have to fix the launch thrusters. It needs dihydrogen jelly as well as pure ferrite. Now we don't have pure ferrite, uh, but we can make a medium refiner, which it'll tell us to do. First, it wants me to make the jelly. Fine, here you go, jelly, right there. Happy? Got the jelly? You happy? Okay, now make a metal plating, go into our deployable technology and build our portable refiner. Now, once we build it, we can pick it back up and take it with us so we don't have to build it again. Uh, you fill this with carbon or condensed carbon. Oh, it looks like it takes less now than it used to. It used to be 133, so that's interesting. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make with carbon. So I wonder if that means it won't go as long. Uh, all right, so we need uh, 50 ferrite dust, and I don't have it, I've only got 28. So I'm gonna refine this rusted metal. This 198 is gonna go one to two. So it's gonna give me 396 ferrite dust in about two minutes. I'll bring you guys back when that's done. Uh, this gives me a chance to go over some of the different forms of currency while I'm waiting on that to refine. You have units, nanites, and quicksilver. Units are the regular money that you use to purchase things. Nanites are a form of currency you use to purchase technology and upgrades. And then there's quicksilver, which you earn through missions and very specific things in the game that you can buy item skins and different uh, decorations and stuff for your base. All right, we got that. Throw this, we need uh, 40 pure ferrite, or 50. They've changed some of the way these look, I like it. And I got 51, cause I'm a noob. All right, let's pick that refiner up cause we don't need it there anymore. And let's fix our thrusters. Now, if we want to, if this is a safe place with lots of resources and you wanna gather some stuff up, feel free to spend some time here. Uh, you can look around, search for more animals, or you can continue on with the mission which is gonna unlock more of the game and base building and stuff like that. Let's go, and first thing I always do, I like to fly in third person, so I just feel like I can see a little better. So I'm gonna to go to options and change that. And let's go over to this one I marked. Should be right over here. See what this building is, if there's anything fun. And nothing. I'm not even gonna waste the launch fuel to uh, land there. Sometimes if you hit the scanner, it'll uh, hit another building for you. Sometimes not. Oh, I did. I did hit another one. What do we got here? Yeah. This looks like it is. This is a manufacturing facility. It's a bad guy place or a sentinel place. So a couple things about manufacturing facility. Um, early game, you may want to skip it. I'm here. We're going to do it. This is save and chart. It will give you some navigational data, or at least it used to. Let's see if it still does. I got a restore point and navigational data. Oh, that's different looking. Look at that, navigational data, that's cool. Better than a chart. All right, so this door is locked. You see the red, this is a sentinel. He does not want me to go inside there. So if I try to get in that door, he will start firing on me and then call his buddies on me and it'll be a big thing. Um, I can get in if I have a gun on my multi-tool which I don't have the resources to build yet. Now, the other thing I can do is I can melee it. It takes eight minutes to knock that door down by meleeing it. Uh, don't ask me how I know. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. God, we got another building. Let's go ahead and check that one out. We got a good little path here of buildings. You'll, you'll notice that sometimes you'll find a great line where there's just lots of buildings. They tend to run in a line. North and south, generally. Is that the same one I just saw? They are not loading in very quickly, are they? Okay, now we can get this. This is a uh, Sentinel Depot. 
Now we can shoot these and collect the resources and really make the Sentinels mad. Not something I recommend for early game if you don't know what you're doing. However, uh, it is a lot of fun. And you make a lot of money doing it. All right, so the Sentinel Interceptors are coming. They are not going to be happy with me. I think there's five items. I want to make sure I get everything. Here, let me go back into first person. Guys, chill out. All right, that one. All right, now I got them all. Magda Gold only got uh, five. Okay. All right, so there's a couple things you can do now. I can sit and land and try to hide from the Sentinels and wait for them, which I think is what I'm going to do. Because these guys... Right now, I don't feel like messing with the guys in the sky. So, um, now I can try to hide from the ground sentinels. Uh, here they come. Oops, okay. Come Guess we're just gonna have to brave it with the space sentinels. It'll be fine. Yep, see interceptors are coming because we are in our ship. Now we can go to this miner's outpost and hide inside that. If you find a building, you can hide inside the building. It is three minutes away though. That's a bit longer than I want. Jeez, there's six of them. They are super mad. Now, if you just fly straight, unless it's changed, you should be able to outfly them. Make sure you're using your boost. All right, so Pulse Drive is back on, which means I can lose them now. So let's just find a point and pulse to it. We'll pick that minor settlement. And there we go. All right, so now we're going to get a message because we pulsed. Incoming transmission. Source, please identify yourself. I'm Bob. Who are you? You are not alone. Follow the... The broadcast ends as strangely as it begins. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. All right. We're going to input those coordinates. But first, I want to go here and check this place out. Just because. Look at that. Graphics are definitely improving in this game. But the load times seems to be taking a little bit longer, which is interesting. So this is a miner's outpost. Now we can dump some of our stuff here and sell some items. Free boxes, always feel free to pick up what's on the floor. They don't need them. Hey, Corvax, what is up? Different multi-tool we can purchase if we want to. Trade terminal, get some nanites out of that. Uh, uh, spin the chair around. Hello, technology merchant. Uh, you can purchase components or blueprints from this guy. Now, anytime you see purchase, you can also sell items here as well. Um, oh, wow. Microprocessors used to be 19000 Now they're $27,500. Okay. It definitely made it a little bit harder. Wire looms are definitely more. What do I have that I can sell? Cobalt minus that. So the cobalt price is the same. All right, let's sell these pearls. Uh, we can check the price in both places. This is negative six. So these guys sell for, uh, what, uh, 99.86 a piece. Let's check this terminal, see what it sells for. Yeah, that sells for more. So we'll go ahead and sell all of those there. All right, so let's go ahead and sell that. Now we can also switch to our Starship inventory. We can sell all that stuff we just stole. So let's go ahead and sell the radon. We'll sell the platinum. Keep the tritium. That's what we use for launch fuel. Go ahead and sell the gold and the sulfurine. Pugnium, I must have shot a sentinel. And ferrite dust, I must have shot a rock. Now, I'm keeping this magno gold because it's worth, what, 128000 right now? Now, this used to be a thing. Let's see if it still is. I can put down my refiner right here. Fuel it up. Grab a magno gold. 
Okay, so one of these is worth 25,000 each, but if you refine it, you get 125 gold, which is worth 44,000 each. So we're gonna go ahead and refine all of those. And that was worth 128,000. And now it is worth 220,000. Nice return, huh? So don't always sell the first thing that you get. Maybe you can refine it and make more out of it. So let's go ahead and sell that. Exosuit inventory, gold. You wanna sell all the gold at once because it will make the demand go down a little bit. See, this demand is actually 184,000 instead of the 220 that I thought I was gonna get, but that's okay. It is what it is. So we're at 379,000 right out of the gate. Feeling pretty good about that, to be honest with you. And lastly, check the bush. Always check the bush and uh, in, in these rooms, okay? Because uh, there's free carbon. All right, and then let's talk to this guy because sometimes they'll give you some free stuff. As I approach the electronic life form, they instinctively start to analyze me from head to foot. They chitter animatedly, their head tilted to one side, stationed here amidst the endless radiation. They must see so few novelties. Uh, words I do not understand. I mind that I know little of their kind or how they communicate in response to their lights and their mask flash, repeating series of three, building in intensity. All right, so I know that this guy wants magnetized ferrite because um, he's talking about three lights. So you go ferrite to pure ferrite, pure ferrite to magnetize. That's what the three lights represent. So we'll give him what he wants. I don't have it, but I can make it. So we'll go ahead and refine this again. Um, go ahead and turn, you want to 10 magnetized, which is going to be 20 pure ferrite. All right, I think I had one left over. I did. Let's go ahead and make that. And while I'm talking to you, I might as well keep refining to be efficient. So we'll turn the rest of that rusted metal into stuff. All right, buddy, what's up? I'm back. Yep, same stuff. I remember that from last time. And let's give him a rare metal. They are. Their lights blaze with a sudden intensity. My offering was clearly what they were hoping for. They rest their silicon hand on my visor and thank me with a transfer of language. And you taught me a word, Corvax and Traveler. Okay, that was not, I was hoping for more, if I'm being honest. Uh, that was, that was kind of weak. But whatever. All right, so one of the new things about No Man's Sky is if you look here um, under options, if you played before, um, you've got a restore point and an auto save point. So it auto saves now. The auto save isn't all the time. The restore point, it does still save when you jump out of your ship. Uh, but it does have an auto save as well. Now we can also rename our current save. So I'm gonna rename this, uh, what is this called? Waypoint, and we'll call it 4.0. So that's gonna be the name of this save. So when I see it in my list, I will know exactly what it is. These are my difficulties. I told you I'd go ahead and show you these at the end. Um, it is in normal mode. I can change these things. I am not going to for now, but you can um, survival elements. I have full survival elements, uh, standard, 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 uh, technology damage is minimal, although you did see me break something by falling off a cliff. Yeah, that, that's that everything's pretty much standard. That's what normal mode is. So if you want to change it, you can. Uh, you can flip through the different creative, relaxed, survival, normal. Um, I'm going to keep it at normal, back up, and not uh, do that. If you made it all the way to the end, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider doing so. I'm gonna continue this series. Now, if you wanna see me do this in hardcore, I've got an idea for that. You're gonna to wanna to stick around for it. I think I'm gonna do a long form content with that and just kind of do a big playthrough and mush it all together like I've done uh, maybe with Star Citizen and Ark and some other things. I think I can pull that off pretty cool with No Man's Sky. Uh, so I'm gonna do that as well as a playthrough one at a time. This normal mode playthrough we're going to go through, we're going to learn how to make money, we're going to learn how to do all the cool stuff and what has changed in the game because I know some stuff has changed. So we will see you next time travelers and remember if you're going to be a Bob, have fun with it. Um, what do you think of that? That, that sound okay? No. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs>